guys, this is Svetlana from Kamui Cosplay and today I'm going to show you how to build EVA foam armor. We usually don't do commissions, but when the German PC supplier Medion asked us to bring their brand mascot, the Eraser Girl, to life, we totally felt in love with the sleek and futuristic design. Plus, I always wanted to make a full set of comfy EVA foam armor, so I thought this would be a great chance. The hardest part about commissions though is that you have to make a costume for somebody else. Luckily, Medium provided me with the measurements of the model and since I had nothing better to do, I worked out for two months and lost two clothing sizes. So now I have the same measurements as the model. And as you will see, this will make it a lot easier to get the patterns right. And do you know what is also the right thing to do? Buying my books! I don't have a foam armor book yet, but it's coming. Okay, now let's start. So, let's begin with the bodysuit. My base was the Ayahans Ultimate Bodysuit Pattern from McCall's. I used a four-way stretch fabric with a fiber look, as well as an elastic material with a matte rubber coating. First, I traced the patterns to both fabrics, cut them out and clipped all parts together. Then I connected the seams with my serger. The combination of both materials looked pretty amazing. Next I simply repeated the step and combined all fabric parts one by one. This was the top during the early progress. I also added a zipper to the front to get in and out. And after a good amount of adjustments, this was how the finished bodysuit looked like. Next up, the shoes. As always, I started by covering a pair I liked with duct tape. Then I marked three separate sections and used these for my patterns. Here you can see the final cutouts with some seam allowance. I clipped and sewed all parts together and added some velcro tape. The first fitting test looked great. After this, I had to cover my shoe and tape again. This time though, I drew on the armor design. So far, so good. I cut out all elements and traced them on 5mm EVA foam. Some details here and there, a little bit of heat to get the material into shape and they were ready for the next step. Now I applied 3 layers of Plasti Dip for the priming. Then Benny covered them in shiny blue metal with his airbrush and sealed the paint job with spray varnish. To attach the pieces to the shoe I used Gutermann HT2 fabric glue. It works great to stick foam to fabric. Next I traced my shoe to a special sole rubber, cut it out and glued it to the shoe cover as well. This was the final result. As you can see, I can easily detach it and even place it on a bigger or smaller shoe if necessary. To make the gloves, I started by tracing my hand on paper. I added some seam allowance, cut it out and drew it on two layers of fabric. After setting some pins, I sewed all around the marks. Next, I cut the glove out, did a quick fitting test Turned the fabric inside out and this part was done. To get the shape of the armor, I put on a rubber glove and drew all shapes on with a marker. It got a little bit fiddly, but once I cut everything out, I had the perfect patterns. Now I traced everything on 2mm EVA foam, cut them out, covered them in Plasti Dip and then Benny painted them and sealed them. Again, I used my favorite fabric glue for the attachment. I covered the entire backside and carefully pressed it on the fabric afterwards. All smaller parts had to be heated up and shaped on my finger before I could glue them on. But after this, the glove was done as well. Let's move on to the armor. To get a fitting breastplate, I first wrapped myself in plastic foil and then in duct tape. I completely covered my whole torso, front and back. Then 
I drew in the shape of my breastplate. It wasn't easy, but I totally did this without any help. Haha! -ha! After that, I cut myself free and separated the patterns. There were quite a few parts and this was only half of the breastplate. I traced them all on high density EVA foam, cut them out and mirrored the other side. Next, I dremeled the edges to a specific angle, covered all of them in contact cement and carefully connected them to get a booby cup. Then I heated up the foam evenly and dragged it over an acrylic sphere to get an even rounder shape. I also used my Dremel to smoothen the seams nice and pretty. Now I only had to connect the remaining parts, add a few details here and there and the front part of my breastplate was done. After building a simple back piece this is how my chest looked like. For the priming I applied three thick layers of Plastidip and Benny added a base color with his airbrush on top. He then masked off the lower areas, painted the cups in rib part in silver and laser cut a bunch of stencils out of frog tape. Next he carefully covered the whole thing with his zigzag tape and sprayed another layer of color on top. Once he peeled off the tape, he got this amazing carbon fiber look. Now some dry brush weathering with silver color, a proper coat of satin spray varnish and the paint job was done. For the attachment I mainly used hot glue and velcro tape. One part of the velcro I glued to the inside of the foam. The counterpart was sewn to a piece of fabric and attached to the foam as well. And that's pretty much how it worked. The final result turned out comfy and it was super easy to get in and out. Next the foam panties. I made a pattern on my body and cut, glued and shaped some EVA foam. The fitting test worked out great. And then came some Plasti Dip for priming, airbrush painting with blue and silver, here and there some velcro tape and the sexy armor panties were done as well. Yay! Let's keep the bracer short as well. This was the pattern. I cut it out, traced it on foam, cut all foam pieces out as well, glued them together and shaped it on my mannequin arm. Oh, and this is Zelda who is really freaked out by a separated arm. Give Pa Zelda. No, give Pa Minna. Good girl. Now back to work. I connected all elements, added some details, primed the final bracer and Benny painted it as well. After pulling off the stencils, he added some silver scratches and meanwhile I sewed a fabric piece for under the bracer. I attached some velcro tape, put it on my arm, we applied a bunch of glue to the bracer and pressed the pieces on. Together with the gloves this looked pretty cool. Now the shoulder armor. Let's try a speed run. Made the patterns, cut the foam, all the pieces, glued them, shaped them, finished them, painted them and added a fabric attachment. Done! Yay! Next the leg armor. I think by now you should know how it works. First came the duct tape patterns. I traced them on foam, glued all parts together and added some details. This was the finished foam armor. And this is how it looked after getting attachments and the paint job. Same for the upper leg armor. Made the patterns, cut the foam, assembled the pieces and painted them. Together I think the legs looked great. The helmet was a little bit more complicated again. I started by drawing a rough pattern on paper. Taped together a first dummy and traced those shapes on 5mm EVA foam. I cut them out, glued them together and cleaned the seams. This was the finished foam mask. Then I sketched on and cut out the side panels, added more details and placed a few magnets for the attachment. So far so good. Putting on quick seal helped to hide the foam seams. 
And then the helmet got finally primed and painted. Next Benny laser cut and glued in a milky acrylic for the eyes. Meanwhile I soldered a LED circuit to light them up. I also made a pattern for a cowl, cut it out, traced it on fabric and sewed pieces together. There's also a zipper on the back to get in and out. Finally we glued the side panels on and the helmet was done as well. Man, so much work! As a more comfortable alternative for the helmet, I also had to style a fitting wig. I used this silver one as a base, shortened it a bit, thinned the hair out and got some blue wefts. Using my favorite fabric glue, I added them to the wig. Now the wefts had to get shorter as well. And I also blended them a bit more with my thinning scissors. This was the final hairstyle. I loved how it turned out. Well, and after putting the costume on for the first time, this is how the Razor Girl looked like. I'm really happy how sleek and futuristic she turned out. The costume itself is really comfy, lightweight and very easy to get in and out. Our customer media in Germany really loved the result. And they were super happy to have the real life Eraser Girl walking around the booths at Gamescom Germany and many more events to come. This project was a lot of fun and I can wait to build even more foam armor. You can find the links for the material we used in the video description. Oh, your shoulder. So what's your favorite crafting material? Warbler? Foam? Dog hair? Write me in the comments, I really want to know. Yo, 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 and tell that too. If you want to see more videos like these, please support us on Patreon. Also, subscribe to our channel to get updates for new video uploads. Hope to see you next time. Stay creative and bye bye. Mm.